Hello everybody, how are you doing today? We're going to learn how to add co-hosts to our scheduled meetings so that you don't have to do it every single time that a co-host needs to enter your classroom. So what you want to do is go to this website, zoom.us, then sign in, and sign in with the account that you want to add a co-host to. So for me, I usually sign in with Google. Once you're in here, you'll probably see a screen that looks something like this. It might say profile meetings. What you want to go to is click on meetings. After clicking on meetings, you should already have several recurring uh, meetings for you. I teach from 7.30 in the morning all the way until 6 p.m. So I'm going to click on one of them. It doesn't matter which one, as long as you click on one and then click on edit. After you click on edit, you will get this message that asks, do you want to edit just this occurrence or edit all occurrences? I want to make sure that this change happens to all of my meetings. So I'm going to click on edit all occurrences. Once you're here, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And here you'll see an option that says alternative hosts. What you do is you want to start typing the emails of the people that you want to give co-host privileges. So I'm just going to type some fake emails here. Uh, co-host1 at uh, gmail.com. Then you have to press a comma so that you can add another person. So again, you don't actually type in the word co-host. You type in the name, the emails of the people that you want to be co-hosts. These are just examples. When you are done, you click save and you are good to go. I hope this video has been helpful for you. And as always, keep it your own.